Meet Joe. He owns a home on the oceanfront in the beautiful town of Southern Shores on North Carolina's Outer Banks. He's currently contemplating building himself a nice new walkway to the beach, but the ocean is getting pretty close. Now, we all love the ocean, but sometimes it can be a little rude. One of the ways we try to keep the ocean where it belongs, away from the town's infrastructure like streets and water lines, as well as Joe's home, is through beach nourishment projects. When the ocean gets a little too close, beach nourishment can widen the beach and push the ocean back to a more respectful distance. Most coastal municipalities in North Carolina must have an easement signed by oceanfront property owners to conduct critical beach nourishment on their properties. The easement area applies to the oceanfront part of your property that is adjacent to the state-owned ocean beach and already subject to public trust rights under North Carolina law. Courts have defined the public beach to extend from the water's edge to the mean high water mark, a line that fluctuates with tide amplitude and erosion. The state does not, however, own the dry sand beach, generally defined as the area between the mean high water mark and the base of the first line of sand dunes. However, state courts have consistently held that title to the dry sand areas does not give the property owner an absolute right to privacy or to restrict access to that portion of the property. That way, residents and visitors can enjoy the beach and all the activities it has to offer. Southern Shores does not currently have easements, so when homeowners like Joe need beach nourishment, it can be a little more challenging. The town of Southern Shores needs all oceanfront homeowners to sign the easement to allow the nourishment to move forward. It's still their property, but when a beach nourishment project is underway, construction workers are allowed to come on to the easement area, spend five days or so widening the beach, and then move on. Okay, okay, I got it. If the town doesn't do something soon, we're not gonna have much beach left, and I'm not gonna be able to build my walkway. Plus, we need to do beach nourishment to keep the beach wide and protect us from storms. Well, we need to get permission from every single one of your neighbors first. Well, what can I do to help? Well, you can get them to sign an easement and help explain to those who might not understand what it is to do a project and that the beach nourishment easements don't mean the town can build a road or public beach access on your property. They just mean the town can be on that section of your property for a few days while they work on widening the beach. This is still my property, right? Are you listening to anything I want to build a gazebo. Well, it's still your property. You can do whatever you want. Nothing's changed. Excuse me. <clears throat> Continue. Oh, <clears throat> ooh. So, when you see a letter asking if you allow a beach nourishment easement on your property, please consider signing it. These easements must be signed in person in front of a notary by each owner of the property. We can support the town of Southern Shores and their efforts to acquire the right to perform beach nourishment because we all want lots of room to play, fish, and enjoy the beach. Right, Joe? I like the beach over there. <laughs>